technical difficulties won't mm -hmm. interrupt today. The weather will cooperate and all will go off as hey, planned. We could send some of our weather down there. Should be a pretty good one, <laughs> right, TJ? It's going to be gorgeous out there, guys. Yeah, great to be sitting on the uh, back deck or patio, that's for sure, as more summer-like conditions start to move into the valley. Here's our live look in the White Rose City. All is quiet for now as this ridge of high pressure continues to build, and that's going to lead to more in the way of sunshine and, yes, that warmth that we've been talking about all week long. Here's Super Doppler 8. A couple sprinkles popping up, but uh, nothing reaching the ground. It's really dry out there, and that's actually going to lead to some elevated fire danger. So definitely avoid that outdoor burning, if at all possible, today. Now, we were talking about the deadly tornadoes earlier on in the newscast. There's a lot of severe weather ongoing across the heart of the nation here early on this morning, seeing plenty of severe thunderstorm warnings. And this is the same system that's going to impact us. Not a severe weather threat for us here locally as this moves in, but I think we could see some showers and storms, and we'll talk about that here on Predictor in just a moment. But today it looks great. Temperatures getting back into the upper 70s to middle 80s. A little warmer to the west, a little cooler to the north and east, but still nice out there. Eventually, we're going to tap into a little more moisture. We'll uh, back off into the low to mid 50s here overnight under that starry sky. Light wind from the east to southeast. It's going to feel like summer tomorrow. Muggier with temperatures back into the middle to upper 80s. May see a stray shower or a thunderstorm late, but I think chances even there are pretty limited. Much better chances on Saturday. Temps to kick off our day are in the 40s in Sealands Grove. A little cooler for those of you in Lewistown. We have 54 in Gettysburg. We're hanging on to the middle 40s here in the Red Rose City. Another day for uh, allergy sufferers to uh, kind of be uh, in it, so to speak. Maple, juniper, poplar, very high. Mold levels are high. Air quality, not going to be the best either with that light wind not really mixing up the low levels of the atmosphere in terms of uh, ozone and the particulates in the atmosphere. And with the sunshine, high UV index, burn time, 25 minutes. Putting things in motion, here's predictor. As we get through the remainder of the morning, looks great. Plenty of sunshine, temperatures quickly warming. Back close to 80 by the drive on home from work. Great to be on the back deck tonight, maybe doing a little grilling. And then overnight, we're back into the 50s. And then we start to see and feel that warmth take over even further for our uh, Friday. You can see a couple of uh, showers, maybe a storm popping up to our north and west. But again, not a great chance of rain tomorrow. A much higher chance arrives on Saturday. Now, our News 8 10 day forecast shows temperatures cooling down with the help of that cold front and the moisture. Better chances of rain during the afternoon. That's when we have more widespread showers and rumbles. Behind that front, 60s on Sunday. It's going to be cool. or may see a stray sprinkle. And we stay in the 60s. Monday, though, going to be the coolest day of the 10-day, uh, 56. Then we start to warm back up with more rain chances there Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Matt. All right, thanks, TJ. Police and